What is up everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Today we're excited to talk about Skywatcher's 100i and 150i strain wave mounts. Skywatcher has finally joined the club of harmonic drives. We're gonna take a deeper dive and see what these two mounts are gonna offer the amateur astronomy community. Now, if you are not familiar with harmonic drive or strain wave mounts, they are a bit different than the standard equatorial mount that you may be used to. They have a much higher payload to weight ratio, they have more precise tracking, and best of all, they can be used without a counterweight. All this means is that now you can use a larger telescope while still having a portable astrophotography setup, and this is great for beginners who are looking to really step up their astrophotography game. All right, let's talk details. The Skywatcher 100i weighs in at just 9.5 pounds and hauls a hefty 22 pounds of equipment without the need for a counterweight and 33 pounds with an optional counterweight kit. The 150i, on the other hand, weighs in at just 13 pounds and carries a nice 33 pounds without a counterweight. With the optional counterweight kit, this brings the weight cap up from 33 to 55 pounds. Along with this optional counterweight kit, Skywatcher offers an additional carbon fiber tripod with a 44 pound max cap, as well as a pier extension for those using longer focal length refractors. All of these, the mount, the tripod, the counterweight kit, and the pier extension are available for pre-order on the High Point website. We will have links to all of these products in the description below. Okay, so those were some of the basic specifications of these mounts. Let's take a deeper dive and look at some of the features that these mounts offer. The Strainwave 100i has inputs on the RA axis with the options of hand controller. This means that all of you who like using or are familiar with the V5 hand controller can still have this option for controlling your mount. The standard USB port also sits here and this allows you to control the mount via laptop or an onboard computer like the ASI Air. Now with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi being built into these mounts, it looks as if you can control them through the Skywatcher app. Now we are still waiting on Skywatcher for specifics in regards to this, but we will definitely cover this in a full review in the future. So you are going to want to be on the lookout for that. Now, back to the USB ports and cable management. The Skywatcher 150i, however, includes USB ports and 12 volt output ports on the declination saddle. The 150i has its USB ports for computer control on the base of the mount rather than on the right ascension axis like the 100i does. In addition to this, both can be used in alt azimuth mode for visual or planetary work, which is awesome for those who like to do some visual observation through an eyepiece. And finally, there's one thing that the 100i can do that the 150 cannot, and that it has dual saddles. You can stack two scopes on the 100i for a dual imaging or a dual visual setup. So these mounts are small, they're portable, and they're lightweight, but they still maintain the ability to control and handle some seriously large telescopes. These mounts are potential game changers for beginner astrophotographers or any astrophotographer looking to transform their entire imaging rig. As I mentioned, if there are any of these features worth diving into, we will definitely do so. So keep a look out for a full review video. This is something that we're very eager to really get our hands on. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. We will be more than happy to assist. And make sure you like and subscribe so you do not miss any future product review videos. Thanks so much and clear skies.